We're speaking with Dr. Nicole Bagans of FAU's Brain Institute about her younger sister, Brittany. Nicole tells us how Brittany's struggle with addiction impacted her and her family, her parents and brother, her academic studies, and her career. One day, while working at her part-time college job, Nicole got a phone call from her parents. It was a call that changed her life forever. I remember exactly what happened like it was yesterday. It was the year 2000, and I was working as a waitress, and the phone rang, and they said, Brittany's dead, that she had overdosed, and I needed to come home. Nicole recalls good times with her family, road trips from Wisconsin to Florida beaches, and the sisters drawing, dancing, and cheerleading. When she was around age 12, she just started acting out a bit, and my parents said we were going to have family counseling meetings because Brittany has, her, her emotions were run, running wild. So we all needed to speak about that as a family and we went to a family therapist. Her spiral was very quick. By the age of 13 she was doing heroin and acid, smoking pot and doing drugs and drinking, and running away constantly. Brittany was diagnosed with depression when she was just 13. A later diagnosis included bipolar and personality disorders. She was placed in several mental health institutions as a teenager. The sisters remained close through visits and correspondence. Brittany sent Nicole many letters, dark drawings, poems, almost one per week. Despite everything Nicole and her family did for Brittany, nothing really worked. Brittany is pictured here shortly before her death from a heroin overdose at 18. It's not an illness of just one person, it's an illness that the entire family and also caretakers or teachers or students or friends have to deal with as well. It's a very difficult illness that has very, a very complex set of symptoms. Aspiring to help others struggling with mental illness, Nicole returned to school to study neuroscience. Not only do I get to research basic science in the lab and try to find the molecular underpinnings of mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety, but I also get to go out into the community and volunteer with groups like NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness to uh, um, engage the community in discussion with real scientists who are doing cutting-edge research on what we know about the brain and mental illness, to not only inform people about the science, but also to help erase the stigma that remains attached to many mental illnesses. Whether working in the lab or educating the community about neuroscience, Nicole shows us it's possible to turn tragedy into a force for good. Every day, she and her colleagues are searching for clues to help solve the mystery of mental illness. By sharing her story, Nicole hopes others will share their stories with the FAU Brain Institute, so together they can forge a path paving the way to greater understanding. She's always there in my heart with me.